the Rockcastle River has flowed through South Central, Southeastern Kentucky for an unknown amount of years. It is one of Kentucky's best whitewater rivers. It was originally named the Lawless River by Thomas Walker during his expedition through Kentucky for the Duke of Cumberland in 1750. There are two theories about why he named it the Lawless River. One, and the most likely, is a companion with Walker had the last name Lawless, or two, he named it after the rough rapids that his group experienced while on the river. The river was renamed by Isaac Lindsay, who was impressed by the large rock formations along the bank of the river and a large rock resembling a castle. The river is 75 miles long and is 200 to 250 feet wide, depending on your location. The river has two branches, the Middle Fork that goes into Jackson County and the South Fork, which is most of the border between Laurel and Clay County. The river flows south and it's the southern border of Rockcastle County. At Livingston, Roundstone Creek and Skaggs Creek both run into the river. The river moves on southward to form the boundaries of Pulaski and Laurel County. The river flows into the Cumberland River. The river at times is one of the roughest rivers in the state of Kentucky. Its whitewater runs are graded as class 3 rapids in certain parts of the river. During these parts, it is not recommended to travel in a canoe or kayak. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the Rockcastle River. Currently, it is a great tourist attraction for the area. You can canoe and kayak down the river in the tamer parts. You can also fish and camp near the river, like pioneers before us. Rockcastle County, the 52nd County of Kentucky, is named after the Rockcastle River. Don't forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Or you can become a member of our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button to get more Kentucky history content. Find us on these social media platforms. And check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.